Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Anand again. So in the previous video we talked about how we can update the value through the Omni script using the data adapter as a data source. And uh, we also displayed uh, like how to use uh, link as a clickable on the confirmation screen so that once you click on that link you will launch to the particular account or uh, particular in uh, object information so in this video what we are going to do we are going to check that how we can uh, use error display error let's suppose when some informations you want to fill in but that is required means uh, you don't need to uh, you don't want to make that uh, empty in that case you need to set some error that uh, account in name must be there or uh, email should be there so in that case we have to use some error conditions so today we are going to see that how we can use uh, to set the error for the, those informations so without further delay let's move to our omni studio org so this was our uh, basic uh, uh, account info omni script so in this what we are going to do right now we are displaying uh, account name account phone or account email so what time I, I want to do that uh, when we are displaying the account name I just want to make sure that the account name should not be empty okay if someone tries to make uh, uh, update the information and he fill the uh, information for account phone and account email but account name is empty in that case we need to display some error so for that we have two things uh, two things to display the error first one is uh, we can use the set error to display the error and second is the messaging which is uh, also used to display the error on the basis of the formula satisfied so if I can show you messaging you can see messaging can be also used to display the error but on the based on the formula which satisfied or conditions and set error as well so if you want to know more information about set error, set error what you can do you can click on this question marks you can see here if you just click on here it, it will load the information related to that and it will also show you how you can use that into the omni scripts so you can go through this so let's see what we can do what uh, I am going to use this set error to display the error so after clicking next we need to display the error because we are going to check that the value all value is present or not so first of all what I can do I'll check that because I am going to make error for this account name so I want to make sure that the account name value is present so the condition is I need to display error only when the account name is null so to do that you have to go to the set error and under the conditional view you can use show element if true means it will only display the error when this value is uh, when this is satisfied the particular condition which we are going to give here so if we click on show element if true then we have to use the field name so what I am going to do I am going to just use the field name and uh, I am keeping as a blank value blank value will be considered as a null so when account name is null then I need to display the error so I am just saving it now what error you need to display and in which element so for that you need to map value here you can see element error map so I am clicking on add new value and just I am going to select the element name where I am going to display the error for that you can click on the account name and what value you want to display so I want to display that account name should not be empty ok I want to display this message there so just click on save and let's try this it, it's uh, really working or not so if we click on preview so let's see we just click on preview so you can see the account information is here so what I can do I can just uh, remove this one make this value account to name as null so if you check the data JSON you can see the account name is null so in that case what we can do just click on next 
So as soon as we click on next, it's checking that the account name is null. Then we are displaying the error message that the account name should not be empty. For that, you have to fill something. So what I can do, I can use. Uh, okay, let me use some any any names. So today is the twenty first of August. So just account twenty first of August. So I am clicking next. So account name is updated. If I click on next, let's see account name is getting updated or not. So if I click on that, okay. So you can see the account name is updated with the new value. So this way you can use the set error to display the error for any of the element.